Yo, what's up guys, it's Mike. We are gonna do a 100 reps six pack abs workout today. It's gonna be really killer because we're gonna be hitting our abs from all different sides. One thing before you start, remember, the only way you can burn, or the only way for your abs to be visible is to make sure you burn that layer of belly fat above your abs. But this workout is gonna be killer in developing your abs, developing your obliques, your serratuses, and pretty much hitting a whole entire six pack. So check it out, we're gonna be doing 100 reps total this is awesome to do at the end of any workout or a workout by itself. You really, really want to go on target abs. So we're going to start off with 20 reps of straight leg sit-ups, followed by straight-legged knee elbow crunch, 20 reps of reverse crunches, toe touches, and V-ups. I'm going to show you how to do every one of these exercises real quick. Straight leg sit-ups, hence the name. Your legs are going to be straight, hands behind the head or across the chest, whatever way. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you use your abs when you come up. You don't want to swing and use your neck. You're going to end up just working neck and no abs. So you're going to keep your neck, keep, you need to keep your neck and your chin slightly up. Come up and back up, down. Really, really tough. Really killer for your abs and also work in on the muscles on the side. Followed by straight legged knee double crunch. So same thing except instead of coming up, we're going to do a crunch. We're going to come across like this, touch, back down. Every one of these is one rep. Boom, just like that. So now you're working your abs from the side now. Then we're gonna be doing reverse crunches, focusing on our lower abs. So hands right here on the side, feet is now together, knees bent, come up, touch right here with your toes, and come up. The good thing about reverse crunches is it works on your lower abs and it doesn't hurt your back. So make sure, here's the key points, keep your calves and your hamstrings touching together. Knees, try to keep it as close as possible. As you start to do it and you become fatigued, you're gonna see your knees automatically come out. It's normal, try your best to try to keep it as close as you can. Hands flat on the ground. Try to put some pressure on your hands. As you're doing them, you're gonna be able to tell. As you put pressure on your hands, you're gonna really engage uh, a lot of abs. Oof, just like that. Then we're gonna target just our upper abs with toe touches. Feet up in the air, hands above, boom, just like that. A small movement because we're only engaging the top of our abs. We're gonna finish it up with V-ups. Those guys are gonna be killer because right after we concentrate on our lower abs, our upper abs, plus all the sides, we're now gonna work everything together. I'm pretty much gonna die on this one. V-ups, it's basically where you come up ugh, and touch, Oof, like that. If you get very fatigued, like probably how I'm gonna be, what you can do is you can also do more of like a jackknife or coming up with your legs and just kind of doing a toe touch. So it'll look like this. So, without the farting sound. <laughs> I'm gonna have to grab a towel for this. So, let me go ahead and do a couple more of those. One. Just like that. So, 20 reps of those. Justin smiling. My camera guy's like laughing, thinking I'm farting and shit. I'm not farting, man. Let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a towel. I'm back. Got a towel. All right, guys. Let's get some killer six pack. All right. Uh, starting off, 20 reps, straight leg sit ups. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Be hard as you get as it gets harder, your feet's gonna want to lift up. Try your best to keep it straight and on the ground. Ten. Woo. I'm only on rep number ten. Go, oh, 90 more reps to go. Eleven. Go, oh, twelve. Oh, thirteen. Woo. Oh, fourteen. Woo. Oh, fifteen. Eighteen. Two more. Nineteen. Woo. Oh, 
20. Whew. All right, 20 reps in. I'm feeling a little bit of hip flexors right here. If you're doing this with me and you're feeling this, what that means is as your abs start to give out, start to fatigue out, your body's always gonna use the compensating muscles, your secondary muscles to do the movement. And in that case, doing that movement, hip flexors. So if you feel some of it, it just means that your abs are exhausted. But if you feel a lot of it, or you don't feel your abs at all, you only feel that, then that means you have to engage more abs. All right. Woo, straight legged crunches. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four. Abs are burning. Five. Six. Nine. Eight. Nine. Okay. Well, there goes the bandana. All right. Okay, reverse crunches. All right. Don't forget, hands flat. Keep keep your uh, calves and hams together. Do your best to make them knees touch. One. Ooh, two. Ooh. Three. Ooh, four. Ooh, five. Ooh, six. Ooh, seven. Ooh, eight. Nine. Ooh, ten. Ooh. Ooh. Rest if you need to. Then let's get back to work. Those last repetitions are gonna be real tough. Try to keep your calves and your hams together. Oh, Ooh, that was tough. Okay. All right, so toe touches are next. Let's concentrate on our upper abs. Five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, all right guys, 80 reps in. V-ups are the last ones. Oh man, apologize now for my ugly ass form. <laughs> Cause I already know, man, right now my abs are pretty fatigued. They're burning. Let's give it a shot. Just remember one thing guys, as you as you become fatigued, obviously your form is gonna start to derail. But most importantly though, is make sure you still work your abs and to stay safe. If any time you feel like you're gonna pull something, either stop the workout, make it easier, or just completely stop or rest for a while. All right. Can we come up? Two, three, four, five, six, four, seven, I'm gonna refer back to the other form where you're just doing basically a leg raise and a toe touch. Nine. As you can see, I was doing too much swinging, so I didn't want to jerk so much. So now I'm just gonna engage, keep the repetitions a little slower and controlled. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh. 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 All right. 
Oh. Oh. 100 reps for your six pack. Oh man, hopefully you did those with me. If not, rewind and do it. It works. Right now, your abs should be just totally fatigued out. Everything from your lower to your upper to the sides, it should just be really, really, really tight. So, awesome workout for your abs. A little bit of cardio, not too much, but really killer, developing your entire ab muscles. So don't forget guys, if you have a lot of belly fat over your abs, then you have to burn off that belly fat before you see your abs. These exercises are really, really awesome for developing the muscle and keeping your core nice and strong, which is good for working out, for lifts, injury prevention. But if you want to see the abs, most important thing is to burn it off, burn off that fat. So if you want more ab workouts, cardio workouts, then check out some of the workouts right here on my right. If you want to find out the fastest way to burn your belly fat and get six pack abs, then click the link above right here to go to sixpackshortcuts.com. Thanks for watching guys. Train hard, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.